Hey, welcome back everyone. Toysh is here and I am back yet again for yet another McFarlane Toys Batman news update. Of course, it's always Batman these days. But this one, this one's pretty cool, I assure you. This is going to be a lot of fun because it harkens to the days of, of what I enjoy about Batman. Plus, I love the Batman 66 line. I think that that is hands down the best toy line that McFarlane is producing. They've really been nailing it. You have the vehicles, you have the play sets. You can really build that world out, but the toys themselves look like they are actually coming from the 60s and 70s and 80s. You know what I mean? Like that is just cool. Now, there are plenty of changes that could be made, especially the capes, which as you'll soon see, they didn't really do that, unfortunately. But uh, the colors, the looks, they've changed some of the head portraits. I'm excited to talk about this because Batman 66, the line is not done. So keep that in mind. But this is going to be an offshoot of the Batman 66 line to then morph into the 70s for the new adventures of Batman, which is a unofficial slash uh, kind of sort of hopefully it's not official offshoot of the Batman 66 franchise because Adam West and Burt Ward, they came back and voiced Batman and Robin for this cartoon. It's a total wackadoo cartoon. I can't say that I enjoy this cartoon. I think I enjoy it purely in the fact of that's cool. It exists in the world, but it's really the designs like Dick Sprang type era of the comic books, especially the Joker, as you'll soon see. And I know plenty of you are going to have questions about the Riddler, but we'll talk all about that coming soon. But as always, and you're in luck, if you're interested in anything that you see in this video, affiliate links down below and they may pop up on the screen from time to time, depending on when you see this video. They're still kind of figuring out uh, that whole uh, business, but regardless, I'll have Amazon Entertainment Earth, yada, yada. So let's jump right into it. The new adventures of Batman. Again, Utilizing the Batman 66 cards, the bodies, new head portraits, new paint job. You get the idea. So Batman, of course, being number one. I love the black on the mask. That's really cool. They didn't change the capes, which I really wish they would uh, they put a more softer cape like they're doing with superpowers. That would have been ideal just to change it up. I think that that would have been really nice to see the blues, the grays, the yellows. Everything looks stellar. So cape aside, he does look pretty cool. And I mean, that's going to look really good sitting in the Batman 66 Batmobile. He does come with a Batarang and he comes with the Bat radio. So eh, not much new in terms of the accessories. See, that's another thing I wish they would have gone a little bit more into new things, right? The new adventures of Batman, new figures, right? So that would have been ideal. But regardless, yes, that's a really cool looking Batman. And again, like I said, it just looks like a figure that comes from that era. And that's really what I appreciate most from this style of figure that McFarlane is doing. A lot more interesting than the multiverse, I'm going to say. It's just Batman, Batman 66, all that old school comic book action. All the toys look cool. The play sets, it's just a whole heck of a lot of fun, especially when you have a display. So next up, the new adventures of Batman with Robin. So we're getting the Burt Ward cartoon version, essentially. So again, they're keeping with that body type, giving him a new head portrait. Definitely love the colors on him. And I like, I like the head portrait because if you have the Japanese set that was the Target exclusive in the tin, and then you have this Robin with more of that stylistic like kind of like Beatles hair kind of sort of right that will go really well with that Batman especially fighting Lord Deathman as well because that's kind of the Japanese comic so in that sense I really dig this Robin as well that's gonna look really cool with my Japanese Batman fighting Lord Deathman the cape is what it is we all <laughs> I don't need to beat a dead horse at this point, but he comes with the exact same accessories as Batman. Fine, whatever. That's, I mean, they could have changed that up a little bit. Here he is all packaged up, ready to go. Robin, the boy wonder. 
sweet hairstyle, right? Just rocking that 70s cut. Very cool. Totally dig that. Now, moving on, the other member of the Bat family, which is really funny if you watch the opening credits of the new adventures of Batman cartoon, they're like, I'm Batman. And they go, I'm Robin. And then it kind of like pans over and she's like, uh, and Batgirl's here too. And <laughs> it's like, oh man, poor Batgirl. This is a sweet looking Batgirl, I have to say. Grays, yellows, the blue. The head portrait really stands out to me. I think that that is a really well done, cartoony, old school comic book Batgirl head portrait. That is, again, one of the best. I just wish they would have changed the body type because remember, she's a little bit too tall for the Batman 66 line. That's the only thing. She does come with handcuffs, oddly enough, right? Batgirl. <laughs> handcuffs and a battering. A miniature, tiny little Batgirl battering. But still, I think the figure really looks good. Just This is what I would like to see. Just put a little bit more like effort. And Plus, if you look at her gloves, that's another thing. They kind of go all the way up. Things could have changed a little bit, a little bit more time and effort into that. I'm just saying not just a repaint with a new head. That's, hey, it means a lot to us collectors. So here she is all packaged up, ready to go. Batgirl, Barbara Gordon from the new adventures of Batman. But with all these heroes, yeah, we definitely need some villains, right? Of course. So we have, and this one, I I'm going to tell you, I think it looks good. I think that the head portrait from certain angles, it really captures that Dick Sprang comic book style. If you remember the, the new Batman Adventures, the 90s cartoon that followed Batman, the animated series, they did that Legends of the Dark Knight sort of three tales of Batman kind of thing. And they had the Dick Sprang Joker. And that is totally what it reminds me of. Now, I know it's based off of this version of this cartoon, but it's nice that it kind of all fits together, and that's r really what I like about it. I, I, I'm not going to watch the new adventures of Batman. It's really hard to get through. It's like watching old He-Man episodes. It's like, oh, my God. Yeah, it's a product of its time, I will say. But he does come with a newspaper, so he gets a new accessory. I totally dig that. It says Gas War on it, along with a... Some other things that we will read once it's in hand. But I like the colors, the purple, more of a darker purple. I love the wingtips. He's got the Wolverine's hairstyle going on. That's just awesome. But I will say in looking at it, when you have the newspaper, his hand is entirely too wide. So I'm curious to see how he's really going to hold that. In fact, a lot of these, right? I'd be curious to see how they're going to hold <laughs> accessories i know the batman 66 line i enjoy it but i'm not gonna say it's utter perfection but it's certainly darn cool here he is all packaged up ready to go the joker very cool very old school looking joker so if you want him you can pre-order him now we have the riddler <laughs> And I posted this this morning when it went up, knowing full well people are going to go, what the heck is that? Why is the Riddler pink? Well, in the cartoon, for whatever reason, and I'm going to assume it was a either a stylistic choice or a continuity animation error, he's pink in the opening credits. And to my knowledge, from what I can remember, and I remember looking at this years ago, the Riddler does not even appear in the cartoon, so he's only in the opening credits in this pink suit. But that that's a crazy cool looking head portrait. That is just fun. That's a comic booky looking wackadoo Riddler. This one, I'll be honest with you, if you're just not into this at all and you're looking at these and going, what the heck is that? This one would probably be the pass. It's very much a nod to one time and point for this particular cartoon. So in that sense, very cool. He does come with his Riddler cane, which is really funny because we've had the Riddler. He didn't come with the cane, like a green, normal, just a normal green Riddler cane. But they did the black and white version. So you have a black and white cane. Now you have a pink cane. For the love of God, can you just make the green Kane for the Riddler, so I could put that in my whole setup. That would be awesome. But I like the question mark. I certainly love the head portrait. He's got his yellow gloves. It's not a bad looking, old school, classic looking wackadoo Riddler, if I do says so myself. But the main attraction here, and I think uh, a lot of people will be in agreement. For those of you collecting the Batman 66 line, it's been a glaring omission, right? Now, this is not the Commissioner Gordon 
from Batman 66. This is the offshoot, the cartoon version. However, this to me is Commissioner Gordon comic book style from the new adventure. You know, it just fits overall because of the look, the suit, the gray white hair, the glasses. That is very cool. I really do like the way that that looks. That is awesome. Plus, he comes with he comes with Batmite, which when you look at Batmite in the show, you're just like, what in the heck am I looking at? That'd be terrifying. Imagine that thing showing up on the Batman 66 live action TV show, right? That would. No, I'm glad they didn't do that. That's a cartoon thing through and through, but <laughs> it's a very old school looking Batmite. He's a slug of a figure. It doesn't look like he's going to have any movement, but hey, that's OK. Stick him in the Batcave. Just have him be a, a little Easter egg, right? When you're looking at your collection. The mainstay, though, is Gordon. He looks awesome. Could he have come with a gun? No, because of Warner Brothers. But hey, I'm sure you got one in your collection somewhere. He's got a really wide grip, so making a big gun, unfortunately, you could probably heat it up and reform it. But yes, Commissioner Gordon, out of all of them, is the number one pick because we don't have a Commissioner Gordon for our Batman 66 lineup. But. All packaged up, ready to go. Batmite, Jim Gordon. Very cool. Commissioner Gordon. See, it says Commissioner Gordon on that one, on the Batman the Animated Series ones that they just revealed. It says James Gordon. Now it says, see what I mean? Farley Toys, sometimes you're, you're wackadoo. <laughs> but I will tell you this. Like I said, Batman 66 is not going anywhere. And if you are a fan of the Batman 66, well... I think that coming soon, you're going to be stoked. Just saying. So uh, that's my thoughts on the new adventures of Batman figures. I'm actually really stoked on these. I will be picking them up when they come out in early 2024. You can pre-order them now, like I said. And as always, I'm curious to know what you guys think. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything. The new adventures of Batman and Batman 66. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, we need Louis the Lilac. We need False Face, Clock King, Bookworm, the Goons. Make it happen, McFarlane. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.